Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you for tuning in to today's five ways to wear video. The hero piece of today's five ways to wear is this item here which is sat right behind me and it is the navy trench coat. Now this one here is actually from the recent what's new in my wardrobe video so that was one of the new pieces I've added into my wardrobe for this season for autumn. However I don't want this video to put emphasis on this specific coat. I know that some of you will have probably bought this coat after watching the What's New In My Wardrobe video. However, I just feel like a navy coat. And again, it doesn't even have to be a trench coat. It could be just a normal wool coat or it could be a Mac or any kind of navy outerwear. I feel like most of us probably have that piece already in our wardrobes. And so in order to help you guys optimize what you've already got in your wardrobe, I wanted to do a five ways to wear to give you some ideas of how to wear this staple piece through the autumn season. It's a bit of a myth that navy and black shouldn't really be worn together. However, I think it's a beautiful combination and one that I wear very often. So the base of this first outfit is totally black, some wool tailored trousers and a basic but lightweight knit on the top. This in itself is one of my most worn base combinations. Now true to my style, I'm adding in my black Converse high tops, which again are another frequently worn staple of mine, but this look could easily be smartened up with a pair of black boots if trainers aren't necessarily for you. I personally love the pairing of tailored trousers and trainers. It makes me feel put together, but also comfortable and carefree. And now adding in the hero piece, which is the navy trench coat. Just seeing this colour combination together makes me so happy. Keeping the entire outfit to just black and navy, I'm now adding in my Celine So Sangle bag, which fits in really nicely with this very minimal aesthetic of the look. So this is an outfit that I would just wear on a day-to-day -day basis, whatever I'm doing. It incorporates all of my favourite elements and it just makes me feel comfortable and confident, which is always a winning combination for me. Speaking of comfort, given that we've all expanded our loungewear wardrobes over the last 18 months or so, I wanted to incorporate an outfit that utilises loungewear in a look that can be worn outside of the house. So the base of outfit number two is a really basic sweatpants and sweatshirt combination, which is of course the ultimate option when it comes to comfort. And naturally there would be nothing else that I'd rather pair with this than a pair of trainers. And given that the sweatsuit already has a sporty element to it, I just feel that the trainers are the right fit and this look is all about comfort, so it just makes sense. Now adding in the navy trench again, and the good thing about navy is that it's incredibly versatile in terms of colour combinations. I'd say it's of equal versatility to black. It looks great with a whole host of neutrals, from lighter tones like the cream of the sweatsuit to darker tones like tan, which is why I've added my Loewe puzzle bag to the mix to add in a third colour, which sits very nicely with the three colour rule that I've discussed before. The bag is also functional because it can be worn cross-body, which leaves me completely hands-free. And I'd wear this outfit for something like a supermarket visit, but it would also be a really great and practical option for a school run or a weekend city walk. For outfit number three, I'm sticking with a similar colour palette, but elevating the look with some smarter pieces. So going back to the basic base of a lightweight knit and some tailored trousers. However, I know this block of light colour won't be practical for everyone, but you could swap it for a darker neutral or even a mid grey. Now, I'm of course adding trainers to this outfit, firstly for comfort and also because they are my go-to, but also to keep the colour scheme cohesive. That said, I find a really plain pair of basic white trainers just like these. If looked after and kept clean, they can actually look quite smart. Now to add in the hero piece, the navy trench coat. This is one of those pieces of outerwear that I think works really well with either smart looks or super casual looks. 
The versatility and the practicality of it means it can be worn with an endless array of outfits with absolutely no limitations. So again, sticking to that three color rule, I do have one color to spare, so I've added in a darker neutral with my Celine Classic bag, which like the Loewe puzzle seen in outfit two, can be worn cross body for practicality and hands free. This would be a great outfit for a relaxed weekend, maybe browsing a farmer's market and having a spot of lunch. And on those cooler days, it would be really easy to add in a navy beanie hat and scarf to keep cozy. My fourth look is another casual look, incorporating jeans and a basic t-shirt, because these are two pieces which pretty much everyone has in their wardrobes already. As this is a casual and off-duty kind of look, I am adding in a pair of trainers and some sports socks, which yes, it's more than okay to have these visible and on show. On goes the trench coat, which naturally looks great with any wash of blue denim, and the white t-shirt just breaks up that entire block of blue. Now I'm adding in a baseball cap, again as this is quite a casual and slightly preppy look, but it could be switched out for a beanie if you're not really a baseball cap kind of person. In keeping with the preppy vibe, a jumper draped over the shoulders not only acts as a detail to the outfit, but also acts as an additional layer. It can be left with the sleeves hanging straight, or you can tie them at the front for a bit more security and added warmth around the neck area. Another bonus is that you can actually put it on as a layer underneath the trench coat if you needed to throughout the day. Because autumn can be a bit tricky with the fluctuating weather, so removable layers are very handy. Now, although I don't work in an office environment myself, I do get asked a lot for workwear inspiration. So I wanted to feature at least one office appropriate look. So as it's autumn, I wanted some layers as I'm sure many offices are air conditioned, even in the cooler months. So I've gone for a classic white shirt with a gray sleeveless knit over the top. Now I've left the shirt, which yes, admittedly needs a bit of an iron, untucked so that it creates a more interesting silhouette over the slim fit black trousers. Now to add in the most important piece, which is the navy trench coat. And this can be worn loose or wrapped and then belted, which will cinch in the waist, giving a little bit more shape. Now I've actually got four colours in this look, but I think they all sit well together and they don't overpower one another. However, I have kept within those four colours with the accessories. My Celine Edge bag is actually black and navy, so it's like it was pretty much made for this look, and the heels are solid black. But if heels aren't for you, then a flat option like loafers, brogues or ballet pumps would work equally as well. It even looks great with trainers for the commute if you carry your work shoes in your bag. So hopefully this demonstrates the versatility of a navy trench coat and how it's really easy to style for work and for play. Right, there we go guys. There were my five ways to wear the navy trench coat. If you've got anything in particular you would like me to do a five ways to wear video of, as I'd love to do more of these, I think they have a really positive encouragement behind them, then do let me know down in the comments below. Thank you as always for watching and I will see you next time.